Hey folks, today we're going to have a quick look at how to apply bleed in Adobe Illustrator. So there are two ways you can go about it. I'll look at both ways today and how to set up your document. Okay, so let's just take a look here. So I have a document set up. It's 85 millimeters by 55 millimeters because I'm looking to do, let's say, a business card. Now I know already that I want this side of the business card to have a full image. I want the image to go right to the edges of all sides of the, of the artboard. When you send artwork to the printer, most printers will say that there is a tolerance in the cutting of anywhere between half a millimeter to a millimeter. Now that may not sound like a lot, but if the cut is one millimeter to the left or the right, and your artwork only goes to the edge of your artboards, you could end up with a one millimeter white strip down the edge of your business card. You don't want that. So how do we make sure that if the paper moves or is cut one millimeter wrong the either way on any side, that we don't get that white strip? That's where bleed comes in. So let me quickly show you how to do that. So we have a have our business card here and I want to have this image on the front and I want it to go all the way to the edge once it's trimmed. So what I need to do is I need to make the image go past the edges of the artboard. And that is essentially bleed. You're bleeding the image past the edges of the artboard. Your chosen printer will tell you how much bleed they need. In the UK, it's three millimeters most of the time. So some require two millimeters, some only require one, but I'll always put three millimeter bleed on just for safety. So I've got that there. So if I go to view and trim view, I can see that it goes right to the edge, which is obvious because it goes over the artboard. So what you can do to get that, so you know the size of your artboard. This one's 85 by 55. I need to add three millimeters to each side. So I need to create a guide, which is 91 by 61. And I can center that. And then what I can do is I can then view guides and I can change that and make guides. So that now tells me this is three millimeters. So I need to make sure that my artwork goes, can go just to the edge of that. Or if you want, you can still go past that. And I now know that when that's cut, that's going to be absolutely safe. So now what we need to do is we need to save this as a PDF for printing with the bleed. So if you go to file, save as, choose PDF, then in the settings for the PDF, you want to choose the right um, profile. So I usually go with X1A. Marks and bleeds is the important part here. So what you want to do is you want to put in the amount of bleed that you need the artwork to have. So I want three millimeters and you can see there just by putting three into one of the boxes and then clicking, it's given it across all of the boxes. You can include trim marks and registration marks if you wish. I generally include trim marks. Check all your other settings are all okay and then click save PDF. So let's open up that PDF and see what it's done. So you can see here we have our trim marks showing where the printer is going to cut the paper and how our image goes past the trim marks, meaning that we will get no white edges even if there is a, a slip of one to two millimeters. We're always going to have the image right to the edge. Okay, so that's how we can do it by having the artboard at the size we need the print to be cut and then we can create a shape, turn that to guides that shows us how much bleed we need to apply to our image or artwork. But there's a quicker way to do it. So if we go to File and New, and I say with, just call it with bleed, 
85 by 55 millimeters is the trim size that I need the artboard to be, so that's the size I'm going to have. But what you can do is you can add in the amount of bleed you would like to have around the artboard. So I've put in three millimeter because we know that's what I need. And then if I hit create, you can see now it's created the artboard, but it's giving me a red guide which shows me where my bleed needs to be. So if we go across here and I copy this into this document, we can see now that I know where my artwork needs to be. I can go quickly to file. And just to say in case anyone wonders, this is a red guide. It will not print on your artwork. You do not need to switch it off. File, save as. Again, we want to save that as a PDF. Now this time, when we choose our uh, profile setting and you go to marks and bleeds, you can just click the box that says use document bleeds because the document already has a bleed setting set on it. You can see here, if I uncheck, it's at zero, but if I check the box, it inputs three millimeters, which is what's on the artboard. I can add my trim marks and then I'm good to go. To save you having to do those check boxes every time, once you've done them once, you can then save that profile. You can see from this drop down, I have multiple profiles saved and one of them is call three millimeters. If I select that, you can see here that it's got my three millimeter settings. I have this here just in case I haven't set the bleed in the artboard. That just is for safety for me. Um, but you can check that and it would still lift it up. Got my trim marks. I hit save PDF. And there we go. Same as the previous one, but it's just quicker because you've already set the bleed when you've created the document. If you need to adjust the bleed, you can always go into the document settings and adjust the amount of bleed there. So I hope that's been useful. Um, two different ways to set up the bleed and make sure that your artwork goes all the way to the bleed line to make sure that you don't end up with any unsightly white strips on any of the edges of your artwork. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already and click the little bell icon and you'll get notified whenever I release any new videos. Until I see you next time, stay creative folks.